But Sango did well. Here's Gusto. It's been a bomb on here. In field, to try and shake off Mikolenko. Played it into Palmer. Oh, a lovely nutmeg on Branthwaite from Palmer. Little flick as well for Jackson. Palmer's got it back. Oh, my goodness me. Cole Palmer, what have you done now? 20th Chelsea goal of the season from the number 20. He scored some beauties. That's up there with any of them. This boy can play all right. He is absolutely brilliant. Chelsea's main man. What a player. Another sublime goal. He looks like he's just scored a tap-in. He's special. It's 1-0. It's Palmer again. He's been at it from the first minute tonight, and the Everton centre-halves don't want to go into midfield. So him dropping off and Jackson's been a big problem for them from the outset here. Brilliant little nutmeg. The little flick is equally as good, but credit Nicholas Jackson for moving it perfectly onto the left foot of Palmer so he can just stride forward and stroke it majestically beyond Pickford. It's another glorious moment from Palmer. Well, where would Chelsea be without Cole Palmer this season? Kukurea, Caicedo. Strong enough to hold off the challenge into the penalty area. Here's Mudrick. Cut back Jackson and Palmer for two. This time he scores. Cole Palmer at the double. We've not played 20 minutes yet and he's scored twice already. Lift off for the Blues. Palmer times two. Everton in trouble. Yeah, since the opening goal, Chelsea have been so sharp to every ball, to every second ball. On the front foot, aggressive, encapsulated there by Caicedo, I think it was, winning the initial ball, and then the timing of the pass was brilliant. Credit Conor Gallagher chasing the lost cause there as well, keeping it alive. I think the ball turns over here, where they certainly get a foot on it, and then look at the fight from Caicedo, then the timing, and then it's just whether Mudrick can find a blue shirt. Jackson does well with the ball that's slightly behind him to hook it goalwards and Palmer doing what all good front players you've got to do running into the six yard box with that momentum he can react quicker than the opposition he's got himself another on a hat trick again well he's happy because that second goal has come when Chelsea were on top Oh, Pickford's giving it straight to Palmer, and Palmer's tripped it over him, and made it three! A first-half hat-trick for Cole Palmer! Is there anything he can't do? Well, the assist there goes to Jordan Pickford, but not many players could have sent that over his head with such impudence, brilliance, quality. He's got the lot. It's 3-0, and Palmer's going home with the match ball for the second game in a row here at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, I mean, the, the nutmeg for the first, Matt, is brilliant, but in terms of technique, I, I think this could be better. The way he takes it out of his feet and then without even thinking, really, executes the most wonderful of finishes on his weaker foot. I think that's the important thing here. It just skips up a little bit for him, but then to control that with a foot I don't see him do too much with. Let's get it frank. The magician with his left foot, but this is a bit of a rarity. It's an absolutely phenomenal finish. We knew, didn't we, as soon as it was lofted into the night sky, that was going to end up in the back of Jordan Pickford's net. It's wonderful from Palmer. What a half from him. And we're half an hour in. What a half an hour from him. Incredible. <laughs> the ball is touching the spot, if not on it. Jackson's on his haunches. Palmer's picked himself up, and he's buried the penalty into the bottom corner to make it 5-0 to Chelsea. And Palmer's got four of them. That's why he takes the penalties, folks. So often, goalkeeper goes the opposite way. Not the cleanest of strikes on that occasion, but it doesn't matter. 
And celebrating another goal, fourth of the night. Yeah, incredible. What a night for him.